to call the meeting to order. Almighty God, who have blessed us with memory, reason, and skill, help us to use them wisely in the service of our town government. We ask this in thy holy name. Amen. The school to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, coming. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody in the public, and the only one we have tonight is John Cooper. John, do you have anything you'd like to share with us in public session? No, sir. Not a thing. Well, we thank you for coming. Um, I would like a motion to approve the minutes of August 13th. That's all right, we're town board meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes meeting the third time. Thank you. Do I have a second? I would second that, and I would also um, ask everyone to look at page five and uh, see, consider a rewording of the motion that was made right after our executive session. Um, I could suggest a revision in that, but I wasn't the maker of the motion. And then, <laughs> I voted against it, so maybe it's more appropriate for you want to, something that you want right. to think we, about it. The, this particular motion should be worded that um, if the Champlain Telephone Company, um, the Champlain Telephone Company um, does have permission to actually move the backstop to the new field area, if they are unable to do it, then the town would be able to spend up to three thousand dollars to move it. I, okay, they have since we correct. They have moved done. it already, so it's, a mute, it's almost a mute point. It is. It is. Well, okay. it's been moved, but it's installed. The three thousand actually would lead to the installation of it. The, 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 the quote that we were given that had nothing to do with moving. So. Well, we're not going to spend up to three thousand to move it because it's already moved and so that's that's I can't get the, the three thousand or twenty nine hundred and some odd cents quote was for the installation of it. We got okay. it over there, so it's over there, and there's still some more work that has to be done before it can be put in. Yeah, that's what we're waiting for. Okay, so does this then? Okay. We're this is basically is authorizing the expenditure of three thousand if they, they they can't or don't do that. Is that right? No. I think that this was was um, a point where it was intended that if the if the telephone company couldn't move it, then the town would look at possibly having to spend up to that amount of money to actually make sure that that backstop was moved to the new location, and to uh, also erect that backstop right. in its new location. It has been moved, but it's not erased. Correct. Because we don't have, we, we, as soon as they mark where they want the poles to go, then we can start. They will come back and put the poles And there. the telephone company is going to come back and do that. Yes. Okay. I see it as moving forward. I I got no problem. I mean, if something happens, they can't do it. I guess we'd have to spend the money to do it. Right. We don't expect to. Right. So, but they left after um, moving that to the new location yeah, with the understanding that they would come back and... Yes. yes. It's just okay. We've got to work with Clark on where exactly he wants the... Well, yeah, I, I, I stopped him the one day. I, I went out there. We'll talk about it later. But okay. I can go out there and I... I the stakes that were put in place I, were very, very close to the actual plan that we have on paper. I was... I thought that's what's fine. Okay. It'll work. Okay. okay, do I do have a motion? So and a second. And a second. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Um, I'd like to have the town clerk's monthly report approved. 
make a motion to approve the town clerk's monthly report mm -hmm. for August. Thank you. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Any questions on the town clerk's monthly report? If not, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's also carried. You have your JCO uh, minutes. Very interesting. Please go read them. <coughs> they are very active in our township. Uh, it was only in planning board minutes. I read them up through totally today. Very interesting. You'll know what's up, up and coming in the town. Uh, those boards approve their own minutes, so we do not need to do that. Please go read those. Um, Charter Communication sent us a letter. Basically, it's uh, updating their uh, charges that they're going to be charging. The rates are going up. Okay, that's strictly for information. Okay. Uh, we have a request from the, uh, Judge Trillo to attend the training in Lake Placid on the 15th through the 18th of this month. And I'll, I will tell you this, is uh, training when you really have no options. The judges need to be trained and certified that they can't sit on the bench. So we do have to approve the training, but it's, it's in the budget. And then they must do it. The state says they must do it. And this is an annual conference. Yeah. Well, it's not a conference as much as a training session. Right. Okay, that's a slightly different okay. Um, okay, because he needs to be certified, recertified on a yearly basis. And that's one of those unfunded mandates. You don't sit on a bench unless you're properly trained. So last year, how much was this conference? Um, boy, I cannot tell you that. Okay. Uh, I forgot to ask that. But I know they, they rotate them in different areas. So yes. Areas. This one happens to be fairly close so by. Classy. Okay. Um, so I would like a motion to approve him to go to his training. It's I'll in the budget, I'll tell you that. I'll make the motion. Be Thank you. I'll second that. Thank you. Any other questions on that one? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Um, we have another letter from John Triller, a replacement for a part-time clerk. The court regretfully announces the loss of the assistant court clerk, Amanda Northup. Mrs. Northup's spouse is a U.S. Customs Officer and has been transferred to a foreign assignment in Canada, and they are required to live in Canada. She resigned as, August 20, as of August 26th. The court has selected a replacement assistant clerk, Mrs. Serena Canty, a resident of Champlain and a former assistant manager at Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, Mrs. Canty is scheduled to start her part-time position on September 9th. Okay. And it also, the state mandates she has to have some upcoming training. So, whenever it's available, okay? Now that's different than the judge's training, court, okay? So, uh, I, and I cannot tell you, I do not know when the upcoming training is. But whenever it's available, she needs to go. I would like to uh, probably uh, accept uh, Amanda Northup's resignation and appoint Mrs. Canty to start a part-time position here. Okay. I just have one at, question. At, at the recommendation of both judges. Okay. So is the training for the assistant clerk a one-time training, or does it reoccur each year? It recurs every year, every to my year. knowledge, because okay. Janice normally, I really don't know what time of year it is, mm -hmm. they normally have that in Potsdam. Janice comes up there many years, and that's usually a day or two. At least. It's only one day, she just travels, there's two days that we have to pay. Okay. I, you know, this is another one of those things. We have to approve it, but it's almost yeah. required of us to do so. Well, so I'll, I'll make a motion we accept Amanda Northrop's resignation and that uh, we have Mrs. Canty uh, appointed as the new clerk. Yeah, thank court. you. Any questions on that one? I'll second. 
Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Um, I think it was June, I believe. We accepted the letter of intent to retire from Linda Fredette. She's our youth commissioner, our youth coordinator, I guess she's not a commissioner. Uh, as at the end of the year, she has recommended a replacement, which I totally agree with. Um, you, you all have it? Is that the second page was on the desk tonight? Okay. 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 Yeah, well, yes. Just, we accepted her resignation, but we're going to appoint somebody. Okay. By the end of the year, and I really don't want to wait till December. Okay. It says, Dear Larry, I'd like to recommend Rebecca for that, whom I have known for many, for 27 years as a candidate for the recreation leader. Rebecca is my daughter in law. She has a college degree, mother of four, and has been active in many organizations holding of officers' positions, along with volunteering for many school functions, and works from her home and has ran several successful businesses. She is very organized and possesses much that's needed, much needed computer and office skills for her position. <clears throat> she also has been involved in man managing many sports teams and always keeps busy and keeps everyone informed, which is the main part of this job. I have no doubt that Rebecca would be a valuable asset to the town and I would give my highest recommendation. If I can provide any further assistance, do not hesitate to call me. Good for that. Now, uh, you probably know Linda's dog, uh, excuse me, son, Matt. Yes. This is his wife, I believe. Mm -hmm. I met the lady. I don't really know her. She's kind of highly recommended. And to my knowledge, Linda has agreed to coach her along and help her. So I, if it's the will of the board, I'd like to appoint that. I know Rebecca. No, no. You know her? I can speak on, um, on the behalf of uh, Linda's recommendation. I think. I think she would be a good person for that position. Yeah. Well, she certainly knows how much time it takes to do the job, because Linda's done the job for many, many for years sure. now, puts a lot of time in for that, okay? So, that's motion two. I can make that motion. Okay, thank um, you. I make a motion that we appoint Rebecca Fredette to the Youth Commissioner position. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you. Any questions? It's youth leader, right? Youth Pardon? leader? Youth leader. Youth leader. Well, I think you said, you said that she wasn't youth commissioner. She was I, I'm, yeah, I, uh, It's recreation leader. She's back down here. Recreation leader. Yeah, it's youth leader. commission. That's what it is, okay? And that just requires an appointment by the board. Yeah. It doesn't it require it to be posted or anything like that. No, not okay. to my knowledge. Part-time position okay. with no benefits. Okay, the benefit is you work all you can. <laughs> okay, I do have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Thank you. Um, okay, we have a sewer project going on the West Service Road. We have put in for a reimbursement from the state. For a little over two hundred thousand dollars since June eighteenth, we have not received it yet, and we have an upcoming payment. A roughly, uh, did, uh, did she give you this? No, I'll read it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're all waiting for a disbursement for the sewer for two hundred ten thousand eighty-seven dollars and ten cents submitted in mid, mid June. In the sewer account, we have forty thousand six hundred eighty-four dollars. Brian's. Brandon's bill, that's the guy that the sewer lines in, is $42,964. Uh, she, would, she would like to, Sarah now, would like to transfer money from the general fund to the sewer account in the amount of $4,000 to so make sure we got enough money to close uh, Brandon's account out until we get our reimbursement. Then it will be reversed in the general fund. Now, we did this last year a while, if you remember correctly. We can do this as long as we turn it in the, in the same physically. We really have three months. I told Jay, uh, Sarah today we'll probably approve this tonight. 
tomorrow the check will be in the mail that we're waiting for it. But so be it. We need to do this, okay? Uh, so if I could have a motion to transfer uh, $4,000 from the general fund to the sewer account. I'll make the motion that we authorize the transfer okay. $4,000. With the intent to be reimbursed, okay? Yes. I have a motion, but I have a second. I second that. Any questions on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. Um, okay, we need to schedule a <coughs> hearing for, uh, I prefer to do it at our next board meeting so we don't have to have a special board meeting. Uh, well, Julie, you help me out here. It's a motion to uh, override the cap. It has to be local local law. It's a local law. Local <laughs> law. To uh, the, the state cap is two percent. We've had a hard job. Most cities and towns have a hard time keeping within that two percent. We did not last year. We did go over it. So we need to uh, uh, schedule a public hearing on that. I would like a public hearing uh, at our next board meeting, so we don't have to have a special meeting to do this. October 8th, uh, 7.15. It's a very short thing. It's a formality more than anything else. So if I could have a motion to uh, approve a hearing on October 8th, 7.15, to override the cap. I make that motion that we... Thank you. And that meeting on October 8th at 7.15 p.m. Thank you. Uh, I need a second. I'll second that. Thank you. Um, okay. Any questions? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Julie, do you advertise that? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. They have to be advertised. I, uh, in consultation with uh, the upcoming project process starts soon. Julie sent out, I believe, the request forms for different departments for the next year's budget. Um, I'm looking at dates. Um, I didn't know everybody's schedule was my problem. I'm trying to figure something out today. Uh, I would, I want to talk about it, but uh, we are looking possibly two weeks from today that's a Tuesday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I know you guys are the activities after school and stuff. What's your schedule on? Typically, I'm, I'm not free till at the earliest, like 6.15. Any day of the week? Any day of the week. Even if it rains, you still have breakfast, right? <laughs> Rain, snow, as long as it's not lightning, otherwise we're inside. Uh, your schedule of evenings or after work or well, like, uh, like Rick, I, I, I can, I, I can make myself available if enough notices, if I have enough notices. So, how long does your the season go on here? I, I, we go to the middle of, of October, okay. somewhere in the area around October twelfth. So we got to do it earlier than. Okay, we normally have at least two budget workshops. All right. Then the third one could be the night of our November meeting, but we have to approve the budget by our November meeting. Okay. Um, I'm trying to work around Sarah's schedule a little bit because she likes to make the soccer games. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's agreed to do whatever we need to have done, but I'd like to do that as much as possible. Uh, the 24th. Which is a Tuesday, two weeks from tonight. Uh, she has a game in Northern Adirondack. She, she will done a maybe here. Uh, she could leave from here and go straight there. She probably missed the first part of the game, but she likes to see him. Mm -hmm. um, Friday nights, you have games on Friday nights? Uh, we do the first part of the, the season. Um, our games begin the 18th of September, and we'll actually run through September on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. But those games, again, um, they go from four to six, and then you're done. 
Well, uh, something I didn't ask her today. I think she would come back in the evening. If I asked her to run in the evening, but she doesn't have a game, she'd come back anyway. But right. I'd like to make it somewhat convenient. Um, and we do have to advertise these budget workshops. They're open to the public. Right. So we've sort of got to come to some type of agreement when to do them. Mm -hmm. um, well, we always have our regular meetings and evenings. I don't have, I, I, my schedule is really flexible, so I don't care. Yeah. If you want to well, schedule I, a budget workshop in an evening, so I think you have to pick a 7 to 5. Is that, I don't know. Is that, I don't know how that what works. Is, that works. Um, uh, again, the only the only concern I have is early on it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday games. Sometimes with games you're away, so you might be, you know, in Saranac Lake or Saranac. Um, actually, I think their first game is in Saranac Lake, so we don't have to worry about that long one. But you still have Saranac Osceola Valley, which means you're not back here till 7:30 o'clock. But, um, but I think if we went with a Tuesday Thursday. Um, Later, that would work for me. Do you guys mind coming in at 7 o'clock at night? Or? I, I don't. You do or don't? I don't. I don't, don't. I don't mind coming in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't either. So it works. What's that to a group? Or is it too tight? No, as long as it's not on a Thursday. It's not on um, How long are most games? The it depends on the, on the level. Um, <laughs> so, for example, I don't know what age is her. Modified games? Is, is her son a modified? Or a daughter? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. So, depending. I mean, if it's JV, then. That is. Modifieds are 35 minute halves now. Right. So. JV would be even a 40. 40s. 240s. Right, 240s. Okay, for instance, so she has a 4.30 game in there, and around that. That's a JV game. No. Could she be back by 7, do you think? Um, it'd be tight. Yeah, but you said that's on what night? Uh, September 24th is Tuesday night. I got one here on September, it's a Monday night. The game's at Shay Z at 4.30, so she more likely could be here for 7. In Shay Z, yes, I would think that might work. Well, she's 10, 15 minutes Correct. Right. That's, yeah. right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, can I tentatively, uh, can we do that then? That's the day that the request is supposed to be back in, I believe. You know, the department request. And I, I would think the first meeting is going to be short. We put the request in, give her the parameters, and she's going to try to find out the fund balances and all that stuff before she gets here. Um, tentatively. Okay. Uh, Monday, the 23rd, at 7 o'clock. I will check with her in the morning. If it works, I'll have Julie advertise that. Is that okay, guys? Is there any opposition to that? Uh, I gotta check the schedule because I want to see when, what when our games are. So, if it's a home game, absolutely. If it's a on the road. Monday the 23rd, uh, Rick? That's what I'm looking for here. I'm going to see what I've got here. Uh, it's possible we can wrap this up in two, two meetings. Mm -hmm. Okay. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> On average, what's the, is it two meetings? Yeah. Sir and I spent a good hour today going over things. I suspect a lot of things will be in order. That will work for me. 
And we happen to have a, a buy on the 23rd. So, you could make it or earlier. I mean, yes, seven months. Well, yep. We have to start all over because we yes. <laughs> she, she is in Shazy that night, so I think she would go to work for that. I would think. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Right. I would think that would work for her, but not a buyer. So, did you say Monday, September 23rd? Yes. She's been great to work around. Okay. okay. I'd like to get into early October. Um, I need a couple weeks between meetings so for her to get things organized. Again, um, can you uh, give me some dates in early October 10th, 12th, around there, Rick? Right? And what did you do it after your coffee meeting? Well, we're looking at should we uh, advertise them both at the same time? What? Should we advertise them both the same? Uh, it doesn't matter, but why can't you do it right after the board meeting on the 8th? On October 1st. Oh, you mean, first. Okay. Stay here and do it on, uh, on our. Yeah, you got to do another I budget mean, meeting, you said? Yes, I'd like one. In October. Okay, October 8th. Uh, she, 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 she's again, she's at Shazy. Where is she on the 1st of October? Uh, not on here. Okay, and, and I'm free. I could do a 7 o'clock on, on the 1st. That's a Tuesday? Yep. Mm -hmm. If that works for everybody. Not so far. <laughs> it's true. No. Never. We're talking 7 p.m. on the And that only, gives her, that only gives her five six work, five days in between uh, work days now. And I, and I guess that's a discussion you've got to have with her in terms of how much time she needs for, I don't know. Um, well, I think I'll probably take uh, the eighth. The eighth, uh, she's in Shazy again, so that would work. It's in our board meeting night, though. Correct. Uh, it's four o'clock. Well, you don't want the four seven anyways, do you, Rick? Can we do it? You want to do it right after the board meeting then? Um. Again, uh, okay. The, let me. The eighth uh, looks fine. I mean, what's that? Well, uh, the eighth looks fine for me. Okay. It's usually a two-hour game, you think, roughly? It's a four o'clock game. She could be back by seven. That's three hours. I think Yeah, because be. you, you've got two 40 minutes and a 10 minute in between. Okay. So uh, Julie, minutes. just, uh, if you would, advertise the first one, not the second one yet until I or check okay. with me in the morning, okay? Okay, thank you. We'll see how they work. Superintendent of Highways report. Uh, we've done our paving. Uh, we're starting to haul sand. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit of salt has been arriving last week. Uh, they're well on their way. Mm -hmm. We'll be up in the county highway department for a day or two. Is it tomorrow on Thursday? Or Thursday, no, another day. Um, all I have there, we did pave. Uh, <coughs> 1,600 feet of the bike path, recreation trail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, Brian, you can address maybe quite a bit of our equipment that's in for the Paris Mills Park. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's going to be installed or yeah, in place well, soon. Hopefully, most of it will. Yes. Okay. 
That's a reimbursement tool. I mean, um, the county. We we already have the money. Okay, that's right too. They give it. It's, uh, can't beat that. No. Okay. Okay. You have your dog. Uh, controller's report. Um, post audit bills. We need to approve monthly bills. Uh, Northeastern Clinton bus rental for swim program, $2,307.12. That just came in today, I believe. Just the one? Yes. Um, Okay, this upstone on the first page, the last one at the bottom of the page, upstone material, that's uh, the paving we've done. Uh, our paving budget came in a little under. <coughs> okay. And you'll notice about a third of the way down on the second page, that's upstone, that's also paving. Make a motion to approve the bills. With the one addition that we just gave. Where is it on the second page? Where is it on the second page, Larry? Second page, about the third way down. And you see, oh, excuse me, yeah. Compass materials. Okay. That's the road yep. salt. Yep. Okay. That's the vast majority of our salt for the year. Okay. Okay. I have a question on the, the single page. Bill list, uh, the second last item, uh, $7,720 paid to the AC. What's that? He's on the full side of it. He's on the full side of it. Yep. AC electric to repair on the damage. Which one is it, Clark? The second last item. Uh, it, it, Ace Electric? Ace Electric. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that? We're, we're paying Ace Electric to repair a wire that was damaged by a truck driver, right? Yes, and we have been reimbursed by the insurance company. We have that. Okay, that was my question. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, the trucker's insurance paid us. We, we made sure that we had the money before we gave okay. the... Okay. Yes. So that's really in, in, in and out. Right. That's right. came in from the insurance company. Right. Mm -hmm. We had to pay it out. That's that uh, wire that was damaged when a, a truck hit a pole up there. Yep. Yep. That's in, in and out. Okay. No cost to us, just aggravation. <laughs> okay. Did I have a motion on the bills or not? I make a motion that uh, we accept the uh, bills dated September 10th. Okay. We'll second that. Thank you. Any questions? Any other questions? If not, all those in favor? Uh, opposed? That's carried. Julie, what else do you have for us? Um, sewer. Sewer project disbursement approval number 16 for Brandon Construction 42,964.70. Okay, that's the one that we just transferred funds to, $4,000. Okay. I'd like the motion to approve. Uh, I'll make that motion that. Uh we approve sewer project disbursement number 16 to bring in construction in the amount of $42,964.70. Uh, to my knowledge, the last email I got from the engineers, the contractor's con uh, price came in under between seven and $8,000. Okay? That's highly unusual. <laughs> so it comes in less than this. Okay? Highly unusual and good, right? right. Okay. I'll second this motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. Uh, that's all I have. I do need an executive session now to discuss the contract. Okay. 
Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Thank you, Julie and Brian. He's good at it. He's good.